out in it. Why you act like you didn't want to put it by me? Yeah, Eddie Murphy. Me not care what the people want to say about me. You see in person. Oh, behind closed doors, you go act like you want me. And that's for certain. Better act right if you want to be around me. Yeah, got to work it. From the Mexico, she came. Living on the wrong, she said. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Muslim. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Search and open your banger a new exclusivity. You will definitely be notified. So let's just go straight to it right here. Tyson the Gypsy Queen Fury is back at it again. According to the rumors, and of course, not the rumors, like basically it's been confirmed. Fury himself posted this statement on his social media platform. Uh, Instagram specifically and... Um, uh, well, Fury suffered a cut um, inspiring. Before we even definitely proceed, let's of course take... A look at the clip of how it happened and this was against probably this is, this is against a small life fighter let's take a look at it right here guys if i if I'm not mistaken, that was like a left uppercut, but accidentally. Uh, but how did Fury suffer the car with a head gun in, 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 in that position? How? Whoa, whoa. Good check, good. And this is Fury inspiring, holding the head of this guy, trying to pull him down. And the guy found a way to land a smooth uppercut. Which of course, of course, a part of this, um, um, it just, it was, it was like, um, it was accidental, I have to say that, you know, but like I said, this is not enough for you to pull out. Whoa, stop. <laughs> you, stop, I said. you know, the rumors um we know that there was of course a rumor um i think johnny nelson broke the rumor you know saying that fury um has been getting my hand on the sparring we know fury sent jay opetai home after five rounds when john johnny nelson said that stuff eddie Hearn came out to rebuke it and said this is not the case and stuff like that and johnny nelson came back to say listen eddie Hearn." be a promoter you don't know anything about fighting game okay, you never fought in your life when i'm speaking when he says what he's saying he know what he's saying he said he, say, he know what he's saying and he know people um he doesn't he didn't want to give up the the sources but he know people that told him that and well two days later fury is coming out with this statement right <sighs> So let's read the statement. Fury vs Usyk statement. WBC World Champion Tess Fury has been forced to postpone his fight with Unified Champion Alexander Usyk after sustaining a freak cut during his power session in Riyadh. The cut, which opened above Fury's high, required urgent medical attention and significant teaching, and will obviously require a period of recovery. Covering any possibility of the fight with Usyk taking place on 17th February in Saudi Arabia, a spokesperson said, "Why is this? Is, why is while this is still breaking news? It is clearly a massive disappointment after the work that has been done by so many people to finally deliver this historic event to the world. Once the doctors have appraised Tyson's high, they will have a better idea of the period of recovery needed." Once known, we will work diligently with 
all the stakeholders and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to reschedule this fight as soon as possible and we of course keep everyone updated with development. A disappointed Tessie Fury had it. I am absolutely dev devastated after preparing for this fight for so long and being in such superb condition. I feel bad for everyone involved in this huge event and I will work diligently toward the rescheduled date once the eye has been healed. I can only apologize to everyone affected, including my own team, Team Music, the undercard fighters, partners, and fans, as well as our host and my friends in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Well, it's all well put up, but put out, but something is very featured right here. This looks like the card um, that this is like the same as that spot or to Wallin caught, caught up um, Fury, uh, Fury during their fight. It's a little bit weird, you know. Fury came out saying, Listen, um, like basically posted a picture of him on. IG really boasting saying um it says right here can't help getting injured inspiring but what can I say what I can say was Usyk was in trouble I'm in fantastic shape I will schedule soon as I can 2024 a massive year for team GK he's looking on the speed of like listen man I don't know man it's a little bit weird things I would say, where is the court here? I don't see it. In this picture, I don't see it right here. Was it before that sparring or why is it coming out today? This is what I don't get. Fury is not really being truthful. So, Usyk is out there sparring uh, with tough guys preparing for this fight, I just feel like it, it's like Team Usyk knew that Fury. Fury, the thing is that if this was the first time this ha this is the first time this is happening, I will understand. But Fury is known for postponing fight and then finding a way to get out of it later on. Now it doesn't have the. It doesn't have the the basically the excuse the, mo the excuse of saying listen oh the money wasn't enough because sorry we are gonna pay you good so there's no excuse anymore for fear what excuse is it gonna give them that's the most interesting part so it is just crazy um that well let's just wish him recovery but i do feel like this fight it's probably not gonna happen. Something that's gonna happen that, that will make Fury like kind of like give up on the fight. Because Fury would hate to lose that on the fabric. He doesn't really care about the belt. But he cares about that hole that zero uh, undefeated record on his on his life. But like on the undefeated is something to him. And this has been the basically the the ways of boxers wanting to stay undefeated for, by not fighting the uh, the best. Well, I think Team Usyk, I mean, kind of uh, like reacting to this very well. And there's been rumor that, like, Usyk could fight Begovic. That's a good fight. But Begovic have seen so far, I'm not, not really impressed. But it'll be interesting to see how. Let me say, let me do, guys, guys. Share the video, comment, and do you think Fury is really injured for real, for real, or do you think this guy? Because he's saying like basically, he just speaking as a guy that doesn't know when he's coming back. Basically saying anti for the notice, you know, anti for the notice. That's just it. That's just it for him. And that is like a little bit not, it's not, there's no clarity, you know, regarding Fury's mindset and when it's going to come back. I don't know, man. This guy has lied a lot of times. I don't really believe it. We'll see. 
Let me go subscribe and uh, go to SEO. Cheers. Like listening. Now why you tell me say you feel my demeanor? Yeah.